Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I wanted to talk about uh, the variant walkers, but I really wanted to focus on a specific thing. And I saw this here in an article from Screen Rant, I believe, in which they actually talked about the, the, the new variants and the origins. But there was some stuff here that was mentioned that I'm actually like really wondering about. It, it kind of got me curious as to how this will relate with Rick Grimes and the CRM and if this really is the larger goal of like this era of the walking dead before they go into like a walking dead next generation type of thing right where we focus on like judith rj and etc when they're like much older because eventually they're probably going to do that right but i feel like with the current characters that we have like rick daryl and etc there's probably going to be an overall sort of story and point to it before those characters stories are over right and I wonder if the origin of the zombie virus is actually a big part of it here. And I do wonder if Daryl Dixon just teased that because there's actually something that I don't know why I didn't do a breakdown of it originally. I mean, I thought to look into it a little bit more, but I was just like, eh, I'll forget about it. But uh, Screen Rant here actually uh, talked about this here and did some translation from a scene from the opening credits of Daryl Dixon. And it got me thinking about a lot of stuff here. And so, yeah, I want to talk about all that. So before going any further, obviously, make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my walk into content like this. And if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, definitely go do so. My channel name is Appetite for the Dead. I will be streaming this Sunday. I didn't stream last Sunday. Sunday because of my my son's birthday party there was just a lot going on if you noticed the last week there's been sort of a lack of like uploads and all that and that's really just because there was so much to do with the party and all that and sort of you know getting the house ready and all that leading up to the party and then I was just so so tired today I'm just gonna be doing one video and uh tomorrow I should be back to normal just doing two videos a day and uh yeah I'm very very excited for uh for episode four of the walking Dead Daryl Dixon but let's actually talk about what I want to get into here so um the opening scene scene of uh, again I saw this from screen rant here but the opening scene of Daryl Dixon there's actually some stuff mentioned in here that does potentially hint at the variant walkers and maybe the overall motivation here from Madame Genet and uh you know her group and just everyone sort of associated with her and if you're looking at this scene here on the left like on the top left here it says something like controle le, le more or something like that i'm sorry if i butchered that obviously that's in french but that translates to control the dead and i wonder if you know when you're looking at the scene in general this is sort of something that I mean, it's kind of funny, like if you didn't get the hint that, you know, they are doing experimentation on zombies. I mean, I don't know how you how you didn't. I mean, literally in the opening sequence here, there's like confirmation of that, but it does go through it very, very fast. But yeah, so control the dead. I mean, that does obviously that, that, that can mean a lot of things. I think, you know, it that does show us that Madame Genet. Her goal is to overall literally control the dead. And I do believe they do want to control the dead as in create um i guess like a zombie army basically right like i think it makes a lot of sense that you're going to have a lot of groups like like you do here with, with uh madame Genet and her forces in france and the crm you're gonna have groups like that with a lot of power wanting more power right and they're gonna be competing with each other in that sense so madame Genet could be dealing with with the civic republic right and there could be some competition there this and that and that could be really what the overall you know main fight here is going to be and it is very very interesting and i will say that this is probably something i should do a video on you know what i'm actually going to do a video on that. i'm going to make a note because i do wonder if that is sort of where we're going eventually here like a lot of people talk about the crm versus the commonwealth but the one argument with that that never really made sense is like it, it just like the crm would win right like they are so obviously clearly going to win they have so much more people so much more resources and everything like the commonwealth i don't think they had helicopters or anything like that right like the civic republic would win that fight so so easily but what if it was the crm versus madame Genet? and what if the crm are actually uh the good guys right and madame Genet is the one that you know in her group are the ones that are the villains because they're trying to use zombies as weapons the crm are trying to find a cure right there could be an interesting twist there there, there really could and Maybe that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Rick is sort of rising through the ranks of the Civic Republic. Maybe maybe the Civic Republic is overall a really good place, but maybe there's just some bad people like Major General Beale who are just, they're, they're doing things here that are sort of just messing a lot of stuff up. But if in the right hands, like say Rick Grimes, if he became the leader of the Civic Republic one day, 
maybe he could actually lead the people here of the Sith Republic to, you know, I guess a better life in some sense. And maybe they could actually, you know, take down Madame Genet and a lot of the, you know, variant Walker stuff. And, and that's where... You know, some of the Varian Walker stuff does get very interesting because it does kind of seem like the Varian Walkers in general were created in France. Now, I'm not saying all of them, obviously, but it seems like the ones that are that are like fast and all that, they're clearly created here. And the one thing that this article mentioned in here that I found very, very fascinating, and I never thought about it in this sense before, but it just makes so much sense. And that is the scientists, you know, obviously are in the scene here. The man that that shoots that woman there in the scene, he says, you started this then made it worse. I wonder if the context now makes a lot more sense when it says, you started this as in, you created the zombie virus, and now you made it worse, in the sense that they knew that the zombie virus was basically happening, like they, they sort of created it, something happened, and then uh, some scientists made it a lot worse, and that's why there was a lot of variants in France, right? Because France maybe got hit the hardest out of anywhere in, like, in the world. And so I, I really wonder, and this is what I talked about in the beginning of the video, I really wonder if we're starting to see the overall plot here of, of I guess, this era of The Walking Dead, right? If this is what the story is going to be. Rick Grimes and, and Michonne and, and, you know, I guess everyone else or whoever's involved, they're going to find out that the Civic Republic or maybe Madame Genet or whoever, but the, basically the Walker virus was created, right? And maybe some uh, entities like the CRM or, or Madame Genet's group in France, like maybe some of them had control over it. Maybe it was some and it was created a very long time ago and they had some control over it but some people got in, involved and then certain bad things happened that's sort of what happened here like it's very possible that you know a lot of a lot of the higher ups could have had just like you know uh well some knowledge that it was happening right because it makes sense when you look at the fact that the crm was formed very very early on and so it's you know when you think about it like that it's it's a little weird they formed so early on it's almost like they were, they were made aware that something was about to happen like it's an interesting theory anyways right like maybe they actually get into that in the rick and michonne show like that i think that would be really really cool rick grimes could be the first one to discover this maybe it's daryl but it could be Rick that discovers a lot of this here and maybe, you know, and that's that's sort of where the story for me gets a little interesting. I do wonder if there is even a like, like, what do you do at that point when you find out that type of information? And I will say I remember Gimple doing an interview a very, very long time ago in which he discussed something. I don't remember exactly what he said, but there was mention about the Rick and Michonne show or I guess it was the movie trilogy or something at that point. But there's something about like the behind the scenes of of something like he he mentioned something there but the way that i understood it when he said whatever he said was like we're, we were going to see the behind the scenes of of the apocalypse basically i know he didn't say apocalypse or anything like that but i really felt like he was implying that there and you know all of these years later we're starting to see a lot of that right now and it seems like that's probably where we're going and um you know obviously there's a lot of debate i would say on this issue because a lot of people i think have sort of wondered about this for many many years right like how do you do something like that that's that big and would walking dead fans be okay with that because doing something like that really is changing so much of what makes The Walking Dead very important right like i think that's the one thing that i personally do wonder about like the Walking Dead going into places like this, you know, where it almost gets a little more sci-fi, where you start to get into, like, you know, the actual explanation for things and whatnot, it becomes a lot more, I will say exciting, it definitely becomes way more exciting, but you are losing an aspect to The Walking Dead that has made it so, so good, which was, you know, the focus on character stories and the very simple stuff of survival, because The Walking Dead is always focused on just survival. But, you know, I think the argument that I would make is that they've just sort of overdone it. They've done it so much now that they they can always go back to it. But in terms of a main storyline at this point, you know, like, I think it makes so much more sense to go into a storyline like this, get into all this stuff, because I think it's about time. And I think it just creates a lot of excitement. Like, people are so excited right now about the Varian Walkers. Like, because it is exciting. It's so cool to see that. And it's going to be cool to see Daryl's reaction to that and fighting this walker. But imagine when, when Rick Grimes actually sees a Variant Walker, right? Like, that, that's why I want the Rick and Michonne show to be, like, three seasons at least. It has to be three seasons. I think two is still too much. Three for sure. If they want to do four, five, six, uh, 13, 20, like, I'll, I'll take that too. But I think they'll probably do three. I think 
the first season is likely going to introduce a lot of the a lot of new concepts and and really introduce the CRM and all the you know the major players and all that in, in the story. And then I think season two is probably going to come out in like two years from now, where we're going to learn a lot more about some of that. And I think it'll again be like this six episode type of thing. And then I think the third season is where a lot of the characters are going to all eventually come together. And I do think that's where we get Daryl Dixon, Negan, Maggie, Carol, um, et cetera, just sort of everybody, right? Like, I think that's when you get all of them on, on that show. And I think for the third season, it's going to be basically everyone's reunion in the first couple of episodes. And then, and then the last couple of episodes just sort of end everything where you sort of, I don't know if there's a fight between, you know, Madame Janae and her group and the CRM. I don't know if it's going to get there, but I really feel like that's probably where we're going to see it all. I, I think there's a reason why this show was called The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. The Ones Who Live obviously is a reference to the very last episode of The Walking Dead. And Rick and Michonne saying that, I guess everyone sort of said it there. But uh, it's a reference to that. And I feel like it's going to really stand and mean a lot more once we get to like the last episode of that series, which could be season three, episode six or episode eight or ten or whatever. And I really feel like at that point, it's going to be like, you know, we are the ones who live. There's probably going to be really major character deaths, like really, really major ones where any of the core characters can die. And I think at that point there, that's where we could see a lot of this here. And so I'm excited if that is the case, if that is where we're going. And I feel like that's probably the overall plan, Um, just because, I mean, I don't know what else they're going to be doing here. And again, Dead City, like... It's so weird to me that that show had like higher ratings and like, you know, people like that show more or actually people like Daryl Dixon more. Just people are viewing Dead City more like Dead City broke so many records. It's actually ridiculous. Like it broke records from the final season of The Walking Dead. But for some reason, The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, which when you're watching the show, it, it is so much better, so much more exciting. And the characters are amazing. Like all the characters they've introduced, most of them anyways, can be easily like I can easily see them as fan favorites. And for some reason, the ratings for these episodes are lower. So I don't really get it personally. But yeah, I thought this was really interesting here. So The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon is getting into this here. It seems like they're getting into the origin of the Walker virus and they're exploring some of this stuff here. They're exploring who could have created it. And I I do wonder if it was Madame Genet and and her people or if it was the CRM, but it seems like the scientists were responsible. I think that world beyond post credits he makes a lot more sense now. And uh, I feel like that's probably where we're going to be going now. And I just, yeah, we just got to wonder now, like who, who created all of this here? Is that where they're going? Is that going to be confirmation that we get at some point in the future? Anyways, post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.